Hey everyone, I'm Richard, and this is a special VR edition of the NVIDIA GeForce GTX 980 Ti, put together by EVGA. The idea here is pretty straightforward. EVGA aims to combine one of the most potent graphics cards on the market with a unique hardware solution designed to make it much easier to interface VR hardware. Now, it's actually available in two configurations. First up, there's a variation on the NVIDIA reference design, but there's also EVGA's custom ACX 2.0 Plus cooler. This has some really decent features, an energy efficient three phase six slot motor, double precision ball bearings, and a refined blade design offering more heat dissipation with lower weight. The PCB features a memory and MOSFET cooling plate and zero decibel silent operation. When the GPU temperature is under 60 degrees Celsius. EVGA's aim here is to reduce board power consumption as much as possible. The idea being that this additional energy can be rerouted into your overclock. But it's going to be the bespoke VR element that sets this product apart from the competition. It takes the form of a modification to the card itself along with an extra piece of hardware in the box. 5.25 inch expansion bay featuring an HDMI output along with two USB 3.0s. The idea here is to make the process of connecting and disconnecting your VR headset a lot easier. The USB expansion is handled very simply. It uses a standard hub extension that should just plug directly into your motherboard. But the HDMI, well, that requires something a little more specialized. EVGA has modified the PCB on the graphics card to accommodate an extra internal HDMI port. This hooks up directly to the expansion bay and well, job done really. It's an elegant solution actually and at the very least means that your standard HDMI port at the rear of the card is still usable for non-VR applications. The big question is this, to what extent is this actually useful? And there are two answers to this, and it all really depends on which VR system you actually own. The HTC Vive, well, that's not a good fit for this product. It comes with its own breakout box, which features its own USB and HDMI connections that plug into the rear of your PC and it's kind of supposed to stay in situ. I was thinking that perhaps you could bypass the breakout box, but it also supplies power to the headset. Oculus Rift, on the other hand, well, it has no breakout box and connects directly to the ports on our PC. And this is where EVGA solution adds some convenience, allowing for easy access to the required ports. It's a niche product for sure, and like all the more bespoke PC solutions on the market, it will command its own price premium. And to be clear, aside from the HDMI port modification, this is still the same GTX 980 Ti. In fact, this one seems to ship without a factory overclock in place. A simple plus 200, plus 400 booster core memory clocks takes you to around 1350 megahertz, 7.9 gigabits per second on the RAM. Not a bleeding edge overclock, but crucially, it's stable. We push this one to 1425 megahertz with eight gigabits per second memory throughput on our crippling Crisis 3 overclock burning. So yeah, the GTX 980 Ti remains an excellent choice as a top tier graphics card with plenty of overclocking headroom. And for VR especially, it's pretty much the best solution right now for the most demanding games. So there we go. We love to check out the more niche products sometimes and this more than fits the bill. But that's your lot for now. Please do like and subscribe to support our work and I'll see you soon.